We're talking to Gary Hammer from uh, Seaton Corporation. Hello. And uh, you're out you're out by uh, our neck of the woods by Microsoft. We are. We're a few, few minutes down the road. And we heard about your company last night in the keynote. So tell us uh, what was announced yesterday. Well, we're very excited about uh, being in the keynote and uh, support we've gotten from Microsoft. Uh, we basically have announced that we are going to be uh, selling a four-tuner cable card solution for Media Center. Uh, this will come out in the first quarter of 2010. Uh, we announced the retail price of uh, $399. Uh, and um, we initially will be offering through Amazon.com and we will also have some uh, retail partners that we're working with that uh, are yet to be announced. So this allows you to record four HD channels at the same time using one cable card and one card in your computer. That's absolutely correct. Um, yeah, and it obviously works with any cable in SO. Uh, it's been in testing for a very long time, actually, and so we've gone through all the interoperability studies uh, yeah. with various MSOs, and we've had them running at, at most of the major MSOs, uh, and obviously tested it with their systems. And so, yeah, it's the point where it's a very good, stable system and works yeah. well. And there's a machine here at CES that's running two of these cards, right? So it's recording eight HD channels right. at a time? The, the ACE computer booth has um, a two uh, seat and card system running, which allows it to record eight high definition channels. This is a technology preview. Yeah. So this is not something that's necessarily going to be available immediately. Yeah. Uh, with Microsoft Media Center, uh, premium and ultimate, uh, and all of the above premium versions of, of uh, Windows 7, support four high definition channels, recording four high definition channels simultaneously. Yeah. And so uh, there's another product called Advanced Entertainment Pack that's sold through a lot of uh, channel partners, uh, OEMs that work with uh, like the Cedia Group and that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, and um, you know, that advanced entertainment pack is offered through a couple of those so that one allows of, the eight tuners. One of the uh, the big changes this year for Microsoft, especially, is we're allowing people to build their own media centers, and so the the availability of a card like this is going to allow us to use cable card and record all the channels we want to. But if I'm planning to build a, a machine like this this year, what types of things do I need to work, think about? Do I obviously I'm mean, going to have to have gigabit. Uh, Ethernet if I want to use extenders, yeah. but what kind of processors and what kind of hard drive do I, do I need to think about if I build a machine? Well, um, a lot of the heavy lifting for cable card is actually done on an embedded processor on our board. Yeah. So it actually, uh, you know, we keep the uh, resources required by Media Center low as far as the cable card interface is concerned. So it really works pretty much the same as any tuner card from a Media Center perspective, which means you can actually run it with a you know relatively low end system. Uh, dual core processor, I think we have on our website, uh, I think it's about a three gigahertz or something in that neighborhood, yeah. 2.7 I think it is, or better, gigahertz uh, dual core processor, or obviously quad core better. Yeah. Um, we also recommend that you have four gigabytes of RAM, uh, and then obviously as much hard disk space as you want, because high definition yeah. content, you want to record and store a lot of the high definition content, you need of course, a lot of hard disk yeah. space, right? Yeah. That's one of the advantages of the PC, is you have the ability to put in multiple terabytes of storage and yeah. record all of the high definition content you want. Yeah. yeah. So other than that, you know, it actually is pretty much a straightforward PC, just like any garden variety PC. Great. And it requires uh, one PCI X1 slot. So we're going yeah. X1, X4, X8, or X16 slot. Yeah. Any nice. Of those. Nice. Well, thanks for showing us this. I really appreciate it. Can't Great. wait to see it later appreciate this year. It. Thank you, Larry. Thanks.